Hello guys, it's Puerto Rico and today we're super excited because I'm talking about my new hunting rifle and this is going to be the Weatherby Vanguard Meat Eater Edition. I want to mention a support of this channel which is Big Daddy Unlimited. They have everything you can in my uh, discounted prices. So if you want to check that out, hit the link in my description below which is going to have an affiliate that's linked to my YouTube page and it's going to help me and support me. Go to BigDaddyUnlimited.com on the description below, click it and subscribe. I talk a little bit about this rifle, my other uh, hunting rifle setup. I'm super excited because I haven't really shot anything with this rifle but I got it all set up already and this is the Weatherby Bangor Meat Eater Edition and you can see that on this bottom plate right here so the main reason why I bought this rifle and I didn't keep using my Begara B14 is because of the weight. This rifle is chambered 6.5 quick mode and it weighs only about 7 pounds without the accessory. And that's a huge difference already. My Begara weighs over 9 pounds without any accessories at all and that's pretty heavy. Especially it gets heavy when you go and start hiking for hours and hours to come and you have to carry that on your shoulder and you're gonna do like a week long trip I don't think you're gonna last. The second day you usually my shoulder is sore from carrying the Bergara. So the first thing that you notice on this rifle besides the pattern which looks really cool it's like a orange and kind of gray bluish stripes everywhere which I love is the fluted barrel. If you look at the barrel you're gonna see it's all fluted and I love the look of that and I I also believe it takes some weight off and that's a plus for me because I want it to look good without weighting a shit ton. Of course it's a hunting rifle so it's gonna be pretty long. This one is about 46 inches but the barrel is about 24 inches which is pretty common, pretty standard, maybe a little bit longer. This specific rifle in 6.5 quick mode is gonna hold 4 plus 1 in the chamber. It's a little tricky because once you have your 4 and you want to put 1 in the chamber you need to make sure you push down the other 4 so you don't chamber it in so you need to be careful. Then it becomes a mess if you don't do it right and then you have to take all the ammo out because you can chamber anything. It's, it's kind of a pain in the ass. Besides buying the rifle because of the height, because I love the meat eater show and all that kind of stuff, but Weatherby is actually a great company that make great rifles. They also guarantee a 0.99 inches group or smaller, which is a sub MOA gun. I will never be able to prove that to them because I'm not that good of a shot. I can maybe put it on a stand and a holder or something on a vice, but I can shoot that small so it doesn't really matter that much to me and I can also shoot very long distances like five six hundred yards that's way too far for me and I will never take a shot that far as of now so I'm not too worried about it I know they have a good reputation and that just gave me a peace of mind so the gray color of the barrel is gonna be like a tungsten circle which is gonna be great for rust resistance water resistance so I'm gonna get all bad from just hiking with this rifle in the rain, hiking with it outside or you leave it outside because you were camping and in the morning it's all wet. I don't recommend you to do that but it's supposed to hold up to those conditions. You're also gonna have a, a one and a half by 28 thread. I'm not really sure what that means but you can attach a muscle brake or a suppressor if you have one and it will come with this little cover right here. From far away, it looks like there's nothing there, but if you want to attach something, you have you have that option as well. Cool feature about this rifle is the safety. I never have a rifle that have a three position safety. If you pull it all the way to the back, you're gonna be what is called the S for safety, of course, but it's not gonna let you either move the bolt anywhere or pull the trigger. If you move to the middle position, it's gonna allow you to chamber that round in it and move the bolt and operate the gun but it's not gonna allow you to pull the trigger and of course if you put it all the way forward on fire you'll be able to pull that trigger 
The trigger is actually really good. Probably one of the best triggers I have out of a rifle from the factory. But you're gonna have a little bit of trouble there and you're clearly gonna hit that wall. And after that, you just pull and it's gonna break super, super clean. And I have to tell you that helps a lot when I'm trying to shoot 100, 200, 300 yards. It just helped me to stabilize that gun on my shoulder when I'm hitting the wall and just pull slowly until I break that wall and just hit the target. It comes with no scope ring, no mounts, no nothing, so you're gonna have to order your own. I ordered this mount from Amazon. It's an outer impact Picatinny rail that mounts on the gun so I can mount the Vortex Pro rings that I have right here. That's gonna be holding my Vortex Diamondback 4 to 16 44 millimeter and I went specifically with this scope because it's a pretty good glass and I love Vortex because they have lifetime warranty no matter what happened to the scope and it's a four millimeter so it's fairly small i have a 50 millimeter on my bagar which makes the rifle be even even heavier this coat keeps the rifle pretty pretty light while i can still be shooting pretty far away and you look at the buff stud of course there's a righty rifle you're gonna have a little shit well there which is pretty big and it fits my face i don't know if it's gonna fit everybody and you cannot adjust it so that's something to keep in mind i'm very happy that it fits my big cheeks and i can shoot just fine but it might not be for everybody and on the back you're gonna have your rubber stock which is really helpful when you have a light rifle like this the lighter the rifle the more recoil you're gonna get and the 6.5 creamer does not have that much recoil but it's more than the burger because it's a super heavy gun so i can definitely feel it the first couple i should have to get used to it i know this rifle also come in many many calibers like 243 257 whether it be mag 270 30 l6 300 Win Mag, 300 Weather B Mag, 308, 6.5 Quick More, and 7mm Red Mag. And the bigger the round, the more recoil you're gonna get. Overall, I, I'm in love with this rifle. I've been shooting 100, 200 yards, and I'm being hitting groups of maybe two inches or less. And I'm not a good shooter at all. I just do this for fun. I'm getting into hunting, all that kind of stuff. But I have to say that trigger helps me a lot with that travel and that wall being so crisp it just made me really comfortable shooting the rifle but i had no more function it took me a little while to zero the rifle overall because i don't really mount the ri the rings very good so i spent like 40 rounds which is a lot of money nowadays but i got it zero pretty good and i love how it shoot i can shoot standing up sitting down i lay down in the bed of the truck and i shot like 200 yards and i hit the target it was a little beer can and i hit it and i was pretty proud of myself but i love the rifle i think if you're gonna go into the back country you're gonna do a little hiking with a rifle you should get something like this it weighs seven pounds and i know the mark 5 weighs six or five something pounds which is even lighter but it comes with a price tag this one comes around a thousand dollars because it's the meat eater edition but you can get uh, other simple versions that go for six seven hundred dollars which is a little bit cheaper and they're also great so you want a rifle that is under a thousand dollars but it's gonna perform great and super lightweight while being super accurate as well i would definitely recommend the weatherby vanguard and i got the meat eater edition because i'm a fan of them but you can get any of the other ones and i bet they're gonna work just fine so if you like this video please hit any of the links in the description below it's gonna give me a small commission without costing you anything if you like this video please hit the like button below please subscribe i'll see you until next time